Here I go. Yuan Chen. Really, Chen? Is this how it's going to be? All right, welcome back to Judgment Day here in Boot. It is your boy's day of trial. And unfortunately, our uh, lawyer, better call Quinn. Well, we, we, we better called Quinn, but better call Quinn was not there. Not available. Judging on the comments that I read, apparently the way he is available is if you help these. Which I figured I kind of had, but not 100% because of me, a one got caught, so... Yeah. That's the reason why Quinn wasn't available for me. So I guess it's going to be up to me to defend myself. I'm not sure if that's going to be successful or not, but um, we'll give it a try. But of course, before we um, go to trial, they're going to work us to the bone. But I'll tell you this much right now. I ain't doing a damn thing. I don't care. You going to put my ass in trial? I ain't going to work. Yeah, I see it, but um, I'm not going to do it. So you might as well go ahead and just let the roller keep on rolling by because I'm going to be your puppet and slave. You want to put my ass on trial? I ain't working. Oh, yeah, you, you probably found a lot of them. Yeah. Well, that's a shame. You won't earn much today. Don't really care. Oh, man, look at that clock shake. You better hurry, Falcon. Time's almost out. Oh, wow. Well, Falcon ain't working. Falcon's just hanging out here. Enjoying his bottle of water and his hot ass day of recording. I got a time bonus of nine. <laughs> I got a bonus of nine for doing nothing at all. Let's see here. 20 wrong, fail. Mm. Oh, you're taking money from me, are you? Well, you know what? Money doesn't really have much value when I'm locked behind bar now, aren't I? So, it's fine. Go ahead. Take the money. Luckily, I have a lot of it, so it's fine. It's time, Mr. Crawford. You ready for the court? Sure. You're about to get a complete level of sass of Ned you've never seen before. I'm letting the juices flow this time for Ned. He's been very calm, very withdrawn, very cautious. You put his ass on trial, Ned becomes the sassiest dude you've ever met. Okay, Mr. Crawford, I'm just gonna confirm with you for the last time. Are you sure you don't need a liar? Well, you know, I couldn't get in touch with mine because I gave you guys these and you're still putting me on trial? Yes, I'm sure. All right, then. Please be seated. The trial will start in a minute. All right. How you scumbags doing? Good evening, dear citizens. Today we'll continue with the case of Food Inspector Ned Crawford. Concrete evidence will be provided and sub-witnesses will be present. Also, the Great Ones have decided to broadcast this trial live to the entire city. Oh, you're also putting me up on display for everybody too. How cute. They think it's important to reaffirm our stand in safeguarding our people's interests. Okay, let's bring the defendant on the stage. Here I go, Ned Crawford. Oh, you guys are enjoying this, huh? Putting my ass on display, too. Mr. Crawford, do you have a lawyer? Or are you going to defend yourself? I'm going to defend myself. Very well. Let's get started, then. As mentioned yesterday, we found that Mr. Crawford had been taking items off the belt without consent. We've invited Senior Officer Rupert Ryan here to elaborate on that matter. Please come up to the stage. Who is uh, Rupert Rock? Oh, old man. I thought we were kind of cool. Uh, greetings, everyone. I'm asked to be here today to discuss Mr. Crawford's case, mainly because I was in charge of his employee survey about a week ago. And something he said there might be able to show you who he is, apart from what he did. So first, about what he did. Mr. Crawford started taking, started working as a food inspector from July 30 this year. So far, we have his work records of all 46 days since then. And according to the investigation, there's at least one item that went missing from his belt. Well, in other words, he stole one item from work. It doesn't really matter if that's number one or 100. 
The same conclusion is, he clearly committed the crime of malfeasance. One item, huh? Putting me on display for one item. Thank you, Mr. Ryan. What about the other things that you said might show us who he is? Oh, it's coming right up, Your Honor. It seems to me Mr. Crawford is not only a criminal, but also one with serious thought problems. And that means he may do things that are way more dangerous than malfeasance. In the survey, he disguised himself as a man who upholds the law. He said he'd report his father immediately if he found out what his father did. But he took violation of the law for granted just as his father. And by that alone, we should have an idea what kind of person we're dealing with here. That's all I've got to say. Oh. Okay. Using the survey against me, huh? So they would have been perfectly fine with the father line if not for that one item. I wonder what item it is. Thank you so much for your testimony, Mr. Ryan. I'm just doing my job. Sure. Keep up the good work. And you may leave the stage now. Well, I think what Mr. Ryan said should be enough to draw our attention to the defendant's alleged thought crime. Before we bring out the next witness, do you have anything to say for yourself, Mr. Crawford? I, uh... I did take something off the belt. And I'm willing to take responsibility for that. But for the charge of thought crime, I mean, I believe we've all said things that we didn't mean or promise we couldn't keep once in our lives. It shouldn't make us all thought criminals, should it? But I certainly realize the weight of my words now. And I never meant to cover for what my father did. All I said was just my first reaction as a son. Please, just give me another chance to serve you as a food inspector again. That's all. Thank you, Mr. Crawford. I see your point. I know what you're trying to do here. But sadly, we have another witness who can prove to us you're not just a fool who accidentally said something stupid. Let's bring him onto the stage, shall we? Here I call Demian Kolosov. Oh my god. Oh god, Damien too, huh? Look at this guy. All dolled up to the nines. You're not crying today, are you, Damien? So were you, um... Were you working behind the scenes the entire time, I wonder? Your Honor, de dear judges. I'm a Skyline food inspector, just like Mr. Scrawford. And we were working together during the employee survey here in the government. What I'm about to share is from the con conversations we had at that time. Uh, well, I was invited to the employee survey for the first time, so I didn't really know what to do. I didn't know whether I should tell the interviewer everything about myself, so I asked Mr. Crawford how he answered those questions. And he said he didn't even answer those questions honestly. I, I, what? I didn't tell you that. And he suggested me not to as well. So when I heard that Mr. Ryan said, I felt the same. This man, Ned Crawford, never took our rules seriously and was just full of lies. Who knows what a man like him would do if we set him free? My friend, I told you to be honest with them, which I even joked around off Ned character that I was being kind of a, you know, scumbag by saying that, but I never said lie. Ned, defend yourself. No, wait. Sorry to interrupt. But I never said those things to Mr. Kalosov. Mm hmm Oh, of course you deny. Uh, but look at how many of us are sharing the same truth about you. And all you did was deny and deny and deny. What else can I do to a false statement like this? What did they do to you, Damien? All right, calm down, you boat. Now you may get down, Mr. Kolosov. Uh, okay. Oh, that's the star witness you got there? This guy's word against mine? In a situation like this, isn't the best you can do as a defendant is to provide solid evidence? What evidence? It's his word against mine. And pull out a recorder and show you the conversation we had? But I suppose you don't have any, do you? 
Well, we have. Oh, do you? And we're showing it to our judges tomorrow. I believe that way they can make a fair judgment for you. More fair than you hope, maybe. Okay. You have evidence of me telling him to lie. I am... I'm perplexed to see this. With that said, I think it's about to, time to call it a day. Tomorrow, essential evidence will be provided, and the live broadcasting will go on. Dear citizens, please don't forget the Grand Hall is now available for you to get your free food. Court dismissed. You know, I gotta be honest with you. I don't think it went that bad. So, here's what they got. I stole one food, apparently. Okay. And, Rupert said that I apparently thought of crime, but we kind of gave him a counteract to that thought of crime thing, so... Maybe we're good there. Then, Damien's over here basically BSing about us telling him to lie. We never told him to lie, I told him to be honest. So, at this point, it's a lot of... hearsay. I need some solid proof. Now, they're the government, so they can make up whatever they want on the spot, so there is that. But, so far, I'm just getting a bunch of hearsay. Gotta say, Mr. Crawford, not too bad a defense by yourself. But you should know, sometimes silence is also an option. See you tomorrow. Okay, I'm not sure if that guy's being facetious or not, but, um... I just told you guys I thought it went pretty well, so we'll, we'll see how it goes. I had to do this alone. Every word I spoke became their weapon. It doesn't matter what I did anymore. It only matters how they want to put it. He's not wrong, because as I mentioned, all we've got this far is a bunch of hearsay. Other than that one piece of uh, food that was apparently taken off the conveyor belt. One piece of food. This big hoorah for it. I'd like to know what that one piece of food was, too. Cause see, I sometimes even reported when I took food, like when they'd have that roll cake roll by and I'd be like, Hey, this isn't part of the thing, they'd be like, um, throw it or take it. Oh, you think I'm working again today? Oh, <laughs> well, I got news for you. I'm not, so... WHERE'S THE LAND SAUCE?! Good God, you guys had a lot of food today, didn't you? I went out, got some water, stopped by, talked to my birds a little bit, come back, there's still food rolling by, there's plenty of time down below on that counter down there. Oh, for you guys' sake, there's somebody going over my work, because, man... Otherwise, the results probably won't be too good for whoever's eating this food. I turn around and see Turner, standing at the entrance. Don't know when he came. He signals me to follow. Is this still the court? Yeah. Didn't even talk to me this time, huh? That's eerie. Mr. Crawford, please find yourself a seat around here. The trial should start any minute now. As soon as the live broadcast seems ready. Good evening, dear citizens. I think the broadcast just went live now. Sorry for the waiting. Today we'll pretty much conclude the case of Food Inspector Ned Crawford. Some last pieces of evidence that we deem most important will be presented. Without further ado, the defendant, please come up to the stage. And also, let's bring our first witness out. Here I call Yuan Chan. Really, Chen? Really, Chen? Is this how it's going to be? Alright. Chen? So, Miss Chen, please introduce yourself. I work at Fu Guang Fast Food. It's one of the designated restaurants for Skyline Inspectors. And you've been bringing food to Mr. Crawford's boot, I believe? Yeah, he ordered from us several times. While you were there, you two had any conversations? Yeah, we did. According to the transcript we have, 
You said in the interview that Mr. Crawford tried to approach you from the very beginning. And once he got the chance, he immediately asked you a strange question. Is that correct? Yes. What's the question? He asked me where my hometown is. Why do you think he asked you that? I don't know. Well, can you speculate? Oh, we're speculating now! Oh, this is a... Uh, open and cl an open and close case here. Speculation as well! Hearsay and speculation, good. Sorry, I don't think I should just easily speculate in a trial. Yeah, Chan, you tell him! Alright, my girl's not- my girl's not turning on me after all. Deputy's got nothing to say. Staff? Miss Chan doesn't seem to be familiar with how a trial works. No, I don't think you are familiar with how a trial works. Can you help me explain it to her for a minute? It's important that we share our views here, with which the judges can decide on things. Some staff move close to Chan and start whispering to her for a minute or so. Oh, let me guess, you're going to intimidate her into coming up with some BS story now. Cool. Look at her eyes. Are you ready to tell us your speculation now, Miss Chan? Yeah. I just thought... He asked that because I might look like a person from somewhere other than Aiden. You mean, the outside? Yep, because of my skin color. But that's it. It's not like it's the first time I got that kind of questions. But why would he want to know about the outside all of a sudden? Well... Maybe he was just bad at talking with girls. I mean, she's not wrong. <laughs> Ned is kind of a closed up individual. She's still not turning us in. Good. Good on you, Chan. Okay, I think we've heard enough from Miss Chan. Staff, please show her out. Hey, I can walk myself. Yeah! Oh, you SOBs must be seething right now. So, Mr. Crawford. Anything you want to share before we move on? <laughs> I think your witness spoke highly of about the entire situation herself. Uh, yes. It's embarrassing, but what Miss Chan has said is true. But I didn't mean anything special at all. Well, I thought you'd say that. It's okay. We're not jumping to any conclusions with just one strange question you asked. Oh, really? However, we've got something with which we might. Something we found in your boot. What? Shall we welcome our last witness out? Okay, what do you guys think this would be? All the bad stuff I have on me, right? The only thing I can think about right now is the map, which we gave to Elodie, or whatever her name was. But let's see what it is. They're calling Nastia. All right. Here I call Nastia Lynn. Well, is it going to be you, Nastia? Are you the one putting the knife in my back? Officer Lynn is mainly in charge of Skyline's workers' shopping services. But she also has another important task. Why don't you tell us about it? Sure. My another responsibility is to search the boot of any suspects for evidence. That's right. As soon as Mr. Crawford's become a suspect, we plan the search. And did it while he's here. Now, Officer Lin, tell us what you found. So, oh, this either happened this time or the first time they summoned us. And all those times I had the black bottles, and even that carrot that's poisoned, that's a problem, but... I'm still having a hard time thinking about anything left illegal behind. What? I 
how did... I mean, I thought I had them on me, though. I, I, I didn't leave. You guys saw the inventory. I didn't leave any black bottles when I left. I was highly paranoid. I found the black bottle. It was clearly smuggled from the outside, and it contains some black powder. This is dangerous looking black powder. It's so special that our experts soon managed to identify it to the bomb material used in Deez's attack. Yes. That's what we found. The last piece of the puzzle. Thank you, officer, for this crucial piece of evidence. You may leave now. Okay. What are the chances they planted it, though? Alright. I am 100%. I was so paranoid about leaving that place any sort of evidence. I brought the things with me. Every time. You guys saw. Dear judges, uh, with that, I think everything seems much more clear. Everything our previous witnesses said makes even more sense now. Why would Mr. Crawford commit malfeasance? Why would Mr. Crawford have thought problems? Why would Mr. Crawford be so interested in Miss Chan's hometown? The answer is simple. Because he is one of these. All the evidence pointed to that conclusion that he's been helping these the whole time. And he was either planning on more smuggling, or planning on escaping Aiden after being exposed. And he committed the worst kind of thought crimes, just like his father. He tried to bring chaos and danger to the city. We tried so hard to build and maintain for our people. And he did it after we put our best trust in him. Now, Mr. Crawford, do you have anything to say? Well, I'd like to see this bottle to begin with, but, um... Ned's got something to say, alright. What do you got, Ned? Yes, I do. I never took any... black bottles. How could you possibly find it? You didn't take, or you haven't passed it to your D's friends yet? Or are you saying that we're making this up? That's exactly what I'm saying. I... All I can say is I never took them. Yes, you said that already. Anything else? No. Good. You can give your final statement tomorrow. Dear judges, due to the time limit, we shall stop here today. Tomorrow it should be the end of this entire trial. Your patience is much appreciated. Please get your award at the Grand Hall. Dismissed. Alright, so they're clearly making this up, right? As we know, both times they left, I took the bottles with me. So, there's clearly nothing there. They're making that part up. The Chan part? Speculation, first and foremost, second of all. When she said, when she finally speculated, it was nothing incriminating as well. They got nothing. Of course, they could pass off anything they want, but theoretically speaking, I haven't screwed myself. So. I did feel there's a slight chance, until today. Now I just want this to end quick. And maybe you want the same. Enjoy your last night here, Mr. Crawford. Ah, right, you smug SOB. This is gonna be the last fight, then. Maybe it's not even qualified as a fight. Is this how Dad felt that night? And if this is indeed the last fight, join me for it next time around. I'll catch you next time.